Last night I intended on making frequent vlog posts on my vlog channel. I assumed that I was unprepared once the day arrived until I realized that assumption was false. I didn't lack preparation. I lacked belief. I didn't believe in myself. I decided to engage in opportunities and initiate new projects if I want to truly make my dream a reality. This entire time I've been pursuing something, pursuing something that is of great value to me. I really want to make it a reality. It's a Monday, and I'm just aware of all the endless possibilities that this week can bring. I walk up the stairs, and, and immediately I'm greeted by one of my teammates. He's, he's asking me about my brackets. In wrestling, there are brackets that determine who you wrestle. I never check them because the true competition derives from within. I'm the only person that's been resisting my ability. Looking at my brackets will only add more resistance. Immediately when I open my planner, I write down my goal. Make vlogs every day. Stay in the main building. An intuitive thought occurred to me. Oh, I might as well trust it because my intuition is much more powerful than my conscious thoughts. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Here is it, lads. The next step on your journey to chemistry. Never, for, never forget that knowledge for knowledge's sake is an ideal unto itself. Life isn't exam and how you are prepared mentally physically and spiritually goes a long way to saying how good a life you will live unfortunately the equations metaphorically speaking are not always given surround yourself with people who are builders rather than terror terrors down of things and the equation sometimes appears appear god and i love you wow my teacher stated Life is like an exam. Okay. People who endure an exam in life has an intention. But in order to attain one's intended outcome, one must have knowledge. In life, if you don't know what you're doing, you'll make a mistake. During a test, if you're ignorant in regards to the subject, your answers will be incorrect. Okay, I see the correlation. Today I have sophomore service, which is a class that requires me to serve others. I enjoy it because it's, it's rewarding. These rewards are sensations that stems from the mind, such as happiness. And this happiness, of course, can attract abundance into my life. To get is to give, or to give is to get. So when I'm giving service, I'm really receiving service. In my life, I am seeking something very valuable to me. However, I am being guided to my future reality. I noticed that the teacher was using a GPS, which is guidance. The GPS itself is a source of guidance. Guidance requires trust because one must trust that what's guiding someone has the intentions of leading them to their desired destination. As I walk in the wrestling room, it occurs to me that although the wrestling practices are repetitive, the consequences and the progress are constantly evolving. That's what we're seeking, the evolution of our progress. It appears as if we're doing the same thing over and over again, but we're here coming to school and going to practice every day because it's an exchange. We're getting progress as we leave. I just arrived home and it occurred to me that as the simple act of clicking a button and vlogging my life really changed my life because I get to see my life from a different perspective. I get to see I get to see what I'm truly doing, how I appear and what it is because I get to hear my own thoughts. So it's honestly amazing and I am honestly seeing errors that I am making that I can improve on and I'm also seeing some of the habits that I, habits that I am developing. 
If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you, that you click the like button and that you subscribe to my main channel, Make Love and TV. You will see me tomorrow on the next vlog. Signing out. Oh yeah, and tonight I will not be going to sleep because I don't go to sleep on an empty stomach. I'm still hungry. <laughs>